They've done a real nice job through all of that to adapt. And tonight trying to develop one more time this young burgeoning basketball team in this first quarter. Glad you are with us here tonight. Eric Lewis, Jason Goebel, and Jonathan Sterling, our officials. And there is the see little with that mid-range touch, Lamar, that he had going last night. To fake the handoff and keep it himself. Brandon Ingram lately in this four-game stretch has been triggering the offense from up top, actually handling the ball and setting the plate. And it looks good on him. Jones wipes out Archie Diakon on a Jonas Valanciunas screen, and then on a roll to the hole, the man mountain from Lithuania with a two-hand jam. That's a good pass. <laughs> I thought that was going to get us. Ball ricocheting between Ingram and Murphy. That's the new definition of a chess pass. Wow, yes. Right off of Ingram. <laughs> Literal chess pass. Nas doubled outside. Archie Diakono elevates and drills a three. Comes the other way with his jaw shut it out. Yeah, enjoy that. Coming off of just an incredible performance on Saturday. Ingram with the length. Reaches out, pokes it through. He's got a two-on-one cooking. The one-two to the cup. Count it if it goes. It does. And Jones will head to the line. Shaden catches. The ball is over his head. He sees Drew flash to a wide-open area. Drew has made that shot throughout the season. They trust him. They go back to him. He scores. And then here's Ingram. They play Golden State tomorrow night at Golden State. Keon Johnson is in for Archie Diakono. The pass to a moving target under thrown and tipped away. Controlled by McCollum. Change of pace into the lane. Scoops and scores. Beautiful move by CJ. Basketball. Here's Murphy who's just been on fire lately and an uncontested three. Down the hatch for this young man who shoot 41% in his second year. Johnson working his way, jitterbuck into the baseline. Now he comes to Cam Reddish. He got a very good look at it. It's recovered inside by Kevin Knox, who is a jumping jack at 6'7". Brandon Ingram with it. Puts his head down, pours in deep, unfurls and lays this one in. Sends this one up and it's off. Ingram the rebound, fully healed now, 24 a night. Nearly six assists and five rebounds and plays through contact here and scores and he's a bucket getter. Requires some patience on his end because as we can see he can do a lot and he probably feels he could do a lot more. But he's got to keep up the work as Cam Radish is also doing trying to find his footing in the league. And Shaden got in on that one. Crossover left to right. Reddish off to Knox. Eubanks up top into the lane. Tax two hand jam. Oh, Eubanks off the bounce first. Kev. He set his own self up with the handle. Eubanks gets a piece of this pass. Recovered by CJ. Over to Marshall into the paint. Squares up. As you Marshall, good looking player, gets 24 minutes a night. Different level. Guys that can play. Reddish turns the corner off the screen. Got bumped. Count it. Making moves like that in that previous move before the break. Set it in motion to Larry Ness Jr., an excellent passer. Cross court finds an open shooter. That's Murphy. Rolls off into the hands of Marshall. Dump it outside for another possession, another look. And C.J. McCollum at 38%. And C.J. McCollum at 38% on seven attempts from three per ball game. Draining that one, 20-point lead. Keon up the floor, springs off the wood and lays it up and in high off the window. Quick answer. That sat up on the rim, bounced in because of the softness. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. That was Murphy just coiling up like a rubber band. Here comes Knox the other way. He takes that one out of the air, lands and lays it in as once again, the Blazers get back in transition. It probably felt like coming into this one, he could have another big evening. It's a vet move. It's a vet move. <laughs> Between those legs, taking it up. He on the other way, darts in. Flares away from Valanciunas and hits a terrific shot. You left the game feeling like Drew got outworked. He got outworked that night. Not, not outproduced, but just outworked. And Desir Little will bring it up. Knox Good. going right at the mismatch. He towers over CJ and laid it in. Didn't get it to go, but it was quality looks for Portland, including an offensive rebound. Here goes Cam. Again. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Again. All right, Pelican offense. Oh, oh, by Ingram, CJ McCollum. Trey Murphy. 
Little changes course off the high screen and finds the open shooter. Shaden Sharp hauls down the rebound with one mitt and then reloads and laid it in. With Murphy just going along for the ride. That's basically one dribble, two steps, powering up. Nas with it. Bears down on Ingram. Reverses it outside of Matisse. Bible finds Eubanks inside. Goes to that left shoulder. No, he's going to go back with the left hand. Valanciunas and lay it in. And those are the coaches and, and the other folks that, of course, have brought him along along the way. We get a look at some tape of that national team he was on, and he's just playing above that level. And Ryan Archie Diakono, the only guy to put one through the deck. Here's CJ. Pump fake drive. Duck under. Scoop. Score. As he avoids free bird in yeah. midair. Yeah. Where he's so strong, it's like if you got a one on one with some kind of momentum, his coach wants him to take that in there. He got a good shot attempt and he just didn't make it, but that, that's a good drive for him. Ingram's drive sets it up for Valanciunas on the putback. It's a 30 point lead. And Nas strikes with a three, the second of the night for the Blazers. What they used to do me in high school, yeah. Oh no, that was last season. That was, that was last month. <laughs> Red is using that left hand again. Scores. Turned in some sparkling plays. Five of nine, eleven points. All of them just going to the rack. You know, that's another similarity of CJ knocks down the three with the whole. Oh. And in Bryant's rookie season, he averaged seven and a half points. Played fifteen and a half minutes per game. Shaden is at eight and a half points right now. Playing 20 minutes per game. Big game at Golden State tomorrow. They're Far even. They're the even with Golden State in the loss column. Two wins back. After tonight, they'll be one back. Johnson leaves it up and in. Stepping back is Knox. That's short. Here come the Pelicans out of the timeout. Ingram is back in. He'll scoop and score on a reverse. Is shoved and will head to the line. And only a handful of guys can move like he can get low come off a, a screen where he's playing left right he can plant right left Keon knocking down a jump shot there's a lob inside Keon Johnson makes a beautiful pass there to Matisse on the alley-oop yeah it's that time of year going at it all year long ooh, ooh. Okay, now, now, Kevin Fort Knox did have, yes, 14 points the last time these two teams met. It not look like he plans on slowing down. Goodness. Knox played in 42 games last year with Detroit. There he goes. And he tees up a triple. He'd been working on that before the game. This game tonight feels a lot like last year, the end of the season. The Blazers lost 21 of their last 23 games. When they started getting them early, they didn't go, and it just felt like the lid remained on the on the bucket. Yeah, seventy percent shooting in the first quarter last night. They got on fire. Straddled the three-point arc was Richardson. I, I want to say yes because I'm aware of what Sacramento has done, what they've accomplished. I'm trying to think of the job some of the other coaches have done. Dagnall's done a nice job. Though. Yes, City. did not like that trade for Sacramento, and they're sitting here, number one offensive rating, coming into uh, the game a couple of nights from now. Like set point for the two seed there, so also helps. And that is De'Aaron Fox, the way he has become a clutch player and has defended well. There is Sharp threading his way through. That's what we came to see. Yeah. That's why I think Antonio's thing was was make it 65 games. I think is what he said. Daniel's two-hand jam. Bit of back and forth between the organization and the player. The player wants to be incentivized, is, uh, but the organization saying we need to protect our player here when we're in situations such as this where we're obviously rebuilding, retooling, whatever it may be. And that ought to do it. Here tonight, the Pelicans come in, take care of business.